My name is Travis Holland. I'm a structural engineer at Baker Risk. We have a 35-year history of partnering with our clients to manage hazards and risk through high-value services, products, and research. I want to touch on one way we manage hazards, the implementation of building solutions, and how our structural engineers move past building design to manage risk mitigation efforts for our clients. Every year, we complete hazard assessment studies to determine the risk to personnel from blast, flammable, and toxic hazards. At the completion of these studies, a natural question from the owner is, what options do I have to reduce my risk? Baker Risk partners with the owner to understand the benefits of each potential risk mitigation option and how each option could be executed. One of the potential options is to implement building upgrades. Let's walk through an example of how a structural mitigation project may develop. As we move through this example, notice the number of individuals that participate in a building design effort. During the hazard study, the owner's lead is a PSM specialist. While a Bakerist structural engineer is involved, the Bakerist lead is typically a process safety engineer. When a building upgrade project is a solution to address risk identified in the hazard study, it is prudent for the hazard study team to draft a design basis document to communicate the why behind the project. As the design phase starts, key personnel involved shift from process safety engineers to design focus engineers. This is a point where design basis information can be misunderstood. The design basis team should include members that can correctly answer the question, why are we doing this, a role well suited for a Baker Risk structural engineer. The next major phase will be construction. A simple change to ease constructability can have a significant impact on the hazard design basis and should be actively managed. Recently, Baker Risk partnered with an owner to maintain a consistent flow of information from the hazard study through construction. Baker Risk coordinated architects and design professionals to develop a custom solution for four buildings to mitigate toxic and explosion hazards. With Baker Risk involved at each step, the intent to protect people was never lost. The example project included the upgrade of one existing building and three new buildings. Factors that Baker Risk can evaluate when deciding between upgrading and new construction include cost difference, personnel and equipment re relocation costs, and number of buildings that require upgrade at the site. For existing facilities, new buildings can be a cost-effective method to address the results of the hazard study by consolidating multiple existing buildings into a single new building designed to address site hazards, including thermal, explosion, and toxic hazards. We have learned that our clients appreciate building solutions that are turnkey. A great example of how Baker Risk is meeting this need is our partnership with Rigid Global Buildings, a pre-engineered metal building company. Together, we have designed and fabricated 20 blast-resistant buildings. Moving closer to a turnkey solution, Baker Risk has launched Fortress Protective Buildings, LLC, a concrete modular solution designed and tested to protect occupants from thermal, fragment, blast, and toxic hazards. This one-of-a-kind building gives owners a proven source to address design basis identified hazards. We pride ourselves on working with each client to identify the best risk mitigation solution. Contact me to implement a building solution at your facility.